Zone two cardio, let's talk about it. What is it? Why is it beneficial? And should we take advantage of it? It's funny how the pendulum swings in our industry there for a while. High intensity interval training was all the rage. In fact, at one point I saw a training studio that marketed itself as super high intensity training. And I was like, yeah, I'll need to relax. The pendulum has swung back. A lot of people are talking about the benefits of cardio, which is and always has been an important pillar in a complete training program. You're probably familiar with the old charts that you've seen on treadmills. Zone two comes from the classic five zone heart rate training system. It's relatively moderate. You can think of it as 60 to 70% of your max heart rate. So if your max heart rate is 180, it's 108 to 126, pretty moderate. What are the benefits? Increased stroke and plasma volume. Remember our heart's a muscle. When you train a muscle, it gets stronger. Heart is no exception. It's able to pump more blood and we have more blood to pump. Both good things markedly improves our cardio engine, increased capillary density. The network of delivering this blood to working muscles improves, increases. This takes time, takes patience. It takes dedication to your training program. Promotes mitochondrial biogenesis. Fancy phrase. Reminder, the mitochondria are the powerhouses, the power plants in our muscle cells. They take fat, they turn them into ATP. My professors would call it oxidative phosphorylation. Most athletes just call it running longer and faster. More mitochondria, more energy. Good thing indeed. What else? It isn't very taxing. This means we don't need as much recovery between sessions and we can do more volume. It also burns a higher percentage of fat as we do with all lower intensity training. Remember, lower intensity training burns more fat, higher intensity training burns more carbohydrate. Burning fat during a workout and losing fat, not the same thing. We don't wanna confuse those conversations, right? Losing fat comes down to energy balance. We need to burn more energy than we consume, but it's good to be able to burn fat during a workout as well as burning carbohydrate during a workout when we're doing higher intensity training. All of it's wonderful, right? Each has its unique benefits. So should you do zone two cardio? Yeah, it's good for your heart. It's good for your health. It builds your aerobic base. As an added bonus, it can be quite enjoyable. Once you get in the proper headspace, it can be a moving meditation. If you're wondering how to incorporate zone two training into a program that includes higher intensity training and strength training, all of which we should be doing, Check out the Bandana Training Club. I've got some great programs for you. There's also a nice walk to jog program. So if you haven't been doing cardio and you're interested in progressing from walking to light jogging, that zone one, zone two training, check it out. If you have any questions, hit me up. I'm always happy to answer them. Stay strong, stay fast. Thanks for getting smart with science. I'll talk to you soon.